Okay, y'all. Right here, we're going to start with some tumbling tire blocks. And you all know how I am when I do tumbling tire blocks. But we're going to do um, a line of six across the there. Um, the, yeah, glue them end to end. And then we're going to do a second row. So you're going to need 12 blocks right here. Now, here's where I lose it. Okay, because... I originally, when I started this, I glued it like in the center there starting down and I glued them side to side. But that takes way too many blocks. So in the end, I change it and I pop that off and I glue them end to end going down the middle there. And here I'm just measuring how long it is. And I believe that this, it was eight inches long. Let me see, is that right? No, no. They're 12 inches long, so these things are bigger than what I originally thought. Now, now on the end there, on that O, I glued the two blocks to the side, but on the other end, I glued them on the end. Um, you all know what, see? Yeah, yeah. And it still comes out perfectly even, and this is my O. We're spelling out joy. Now, I saw this on Pinterest that somebody had made a smaller version of this, and of course, me, I'm extra, go big or go home, right? But they had stained theirs. Well, I go a bit further. Or painted them. I can't even remember. It's been so long. I think it was like last year. See where I changed my J there to, yeah. Because it takes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then you go 2, 4, and then 1, 2, 6 going across the side anyway to make the J. And here we're just making the Y. I figured it'd be easier for me to show you instead of me telling you because I mess it up. And you will probably need two big boxes of the tumbling tower blocks. And right here, I'm just taking craft sticks and I'm gluing them on the back to stabilize it. Look, I glued my I glued it on the front, glued it backwards, but you know me. And there's one of them MDF snowflakes I painted that a couple weeks ago, and you can use that for your O, or you can make your O. And here I'm tracing it out. And look, y'all, you see what I'm doing? I'm doing it backwards again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm only dyslexic with J's apparently, but anyway, um, yeah, don't, don't do that. Flip it around. I'm like, oh man. And then I actually got a new piece of paper and I actually cut out the backwards one. So don't do that either. Anyway, after I get them all cut out, I don't even know what I'm blabbing about. Um, I'm going to, oh, uh, I stained them all with Waverly Antique Wax front and back, but I let it dry like two hours. Cause if you don't, yeah, that, that doesn't want to stick and doesn't is a word anyway and i'm just gonna put this i want to make sure i put like a medium coat of mod podge down i know it's hard to decipher how much you put because i put down a lot or i put down a light coat but i mean you y'all saw i mean i never leave it so thick unless i'm doing material so anyway i got on my my, I know you guys are like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I get it all sanded down. And um, I wanted to show you, because I wanted these to look old and rusty. Um, see right there, the corners, how I'm sanding it down. And then that um, antique wax will show behind it. And I just think it turns out pretty. I do, because you all know I like rustic stuff. And especially Christmas. And I am... So digging plaid everything, which I've always liked tartan plaid, but I'm digging plaid everything this year. And I got that um, scrapbooking paper from the Hobby Lobby. And that's some holly candle thing I got from the Dollar Tree last year. Let me see. Oh, and here I'm just taking pics of stuff that, that has fallen off things that I've collected in a little Ziploc baggie over the years. Just putting things here and there and then i do take some mistletoe off a uh, mistletoe pick i got at walmart look i got that um this spring and i got it for 25 cents and it was a big old bushel of thing of mistletoe and i'm like oh my gosh i got so lucky anyway um yeah y'all see what i'm doing there i'm putting a mustache on my Y. apparently <laughs> that looks like a mustache <laughs> anyway yeah, I know, right? Um, I'm going to put some holly leaves on my O over in the um, left-hand corner. 
And um, again, just put little pine cones and little leaves and little decorations. I think sometimes decorating them up, the accessories is, is more fun than doing the DIY. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Then some people don't like as much as many accessories, and I've been told so. But that's okay. You know, everybody do theirs how they want. Now, I got that little jingle bell at a flea market. And um, it's real rusty. And putting some jute in it. Now, y'all can rust your own if you take silver jinger, jinger bells. <laughs> jinger. Anyway, bells would be better. And soak them in some um, uh, da, 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 vinegar, white vinegar. And uh, it will rust them up real good for you. And the uh, longer you soak it, the better they look. And I'm taking some berries off a pick here. And I'm putting it on my mustache. And see, I got those other little type of jingle bells. Um two from that flea market so there's two different types there and i put the bolly ones on the j and the y and the hanging one on the o <coughs> and i love this y'all <coughs> excuse me it'd be good to set on a mantle or a big shelf somewhere or just yeah i just i i like it um, okay, either I think I'm a genius, which I do think I'm a genius, but no, I'm joking, or I saw this somewhere, but I, you know, I put these glass pieces in my car, and I actually set that, uh, one piece inside that other piece by accident, I was like, oh, that looks like a little lantern, so, but if, if it's been seen somewhere else, maybe I saw it somewhere else, I don't know, I don't want to take credit for anything that's not mine, anyway, so I put, um, um, E6000 and hot glue on it and glued that jar thing to that candle plate. And I give it two coats of Rust-Oleum Lim White Chalk Paint. Then I'm going to take this jar. <clears throat> Every time I paint glass, I just do it all at the same time, even if it is different DIYs. Look how big that one is. Oh my goodness, compared to the other one. And I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum Lim White Chalk Paint. Yeah. And then I'm going to take E6000 and hot glue, and I'm going to glue that vase down inside the top of my jar. Yeah. Anyway, just wipe off the excess glue. And then I sand it down a little bit, um, just to make it look a little bit rustic. But kind of wish I, well, because I was going to do this actually in Buffalo Check, and I think it would be beautiful in Buffalo Check. But I ended up, I don't even know what happened. I went a completely different route. Y'all know me. Anyway, so, see that pretty, that's snowflakes with black. And look how pretty the red and white, that red and white check is what got me. I was like, oh, anyway. So, I got this candy ribbon at the Walmart this year. Y'all, I love this. And even though it's too big, but it wasn't, you know, it's like a medium-sized ribbon. But I was like, oh, I'm doing it anyway because I want this. Anyway, so, <laughs> wrapped, it around, wrapped it around my jar there, the lip of the jar. And I don't think it turned out bad. You, you can't even really see it, though. And I just hot glued it on. I wish I'd put the handle on the other side, though. And um, I made a bow, just a awareness ribbon bow, and just took some jute and tied it up in the middle. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, y'all. I miss you guys. I'm telling you. Um, it seems like I, I haven't been here forever. And anyway, I take two palm picks and I twist them together. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I attach them together in the in, on the end. And then, um, you guys, I give it a haircut because I think when you, especially when you wrap those together, it looks really, really like crazy, like little pieces going everywhere. And I take this berry pick I got from <clears throat> the Dollar Tree last year. And I take that, I think it's, is it metallic? What's it called? Marker. I love these things. I like them better than the paint pens that I had, the paint markers that I have. Um, what are these called? I've been using these since I found them at the dock. Metallic marker. I know I've been using them for a couple years. I love them. Um, and I just make little designs, like make them look like candy on my little, my little berries there. And it turns out so cute. And then I just hot glue them on my wreath. I only did five of them because I figured the ribbon was going to be covering up the top part of it. Yeah. And then this, guy, this, I love it. Anyway, I know, this is my favorite. I take them little gingerbread man buttons from the um, Hobby Lobby. You know, when stuff 50% off, I got them 50% off. And I'm going to glue them on my little wreath there. Um, in between my little berries. 
And then I'm just going to hot glue my little wreath onto my lantern. I'm so excited about this one, y'all. <laughs> I know nobody's going to like it as much as I do. But I love it so much. Anyway, um, and I glue my bow on. And I take one of them little candy canes I got from the Hobby Lobby. You know, it's for their little tiny Christmas trees. And I cut the little string off of it. And I glue it in the center of my bow. And I put a little LED candle down in it. And y'all, I feel like it needs something right there in the center. Maybe a little gingerbread man. But I think this thing is so cute <laughs> i love it <laughs> if you did it like buffalo check it would be beautiful and if you painted the bottom of it black and did a buffalo check it'd still be beautiful look like a lamp you know what i mean round wood pieces those little round thin board pieces from the amazon now it's in they're in my description box but i know that dollar tree sells them but i can't find it in my dollar tree so i give it a, a one coat of ink chalk paint by waverly and then I'm going to take this black and white plaid. I love plaid for Christmas, y'all. I mean, I love rustic. I love the whole thing. And anyway, I'm just going to take my paper trimmer here, and I'm going to cut it at six inches. And then I um, marked it with my pencil so I'd know where to lay my paper and where to put my Mod Podge so I could put my paper down because I didn't want to cover the thing with Mod Podge because I'm going to be covering it with Mod Podge later and i didn't want that middle to be like real streaky with brush streaks or anything does that make sense make sure it fully dries before you put the top coat on because that can make your paper wrinkle but again you don't need that much mod podge <clears throat> i think we're under the um with, if, with fabric and stuff you do but a lot of times we think we really want it to stick so we put extra and that's just not the case with that stuff i mean i've literally stuck my fingers together with it I mean, it's crazy. it's crazy. Anyway, um, and then set it aside to dry. And after it dries, I cut off the excess with my knife there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I covered the top of my allergies and sinuses, y'all. And then I covered the top of my... Look at that reindeer. <clears throat> I'm in love with him. They're new at the Dollar Tree this year. Well, my Dollar Tree. I've never seen before. So, I got that one, and I got a um, red and black uh, buffalo check one. But I wish I'd gotten more, because I think that's worth $1.25. And I'd love to have them hang on my Christmas tree. I did not rip the thick stuff off of it. And I love the bow. The greenery was on straight. It just looks so good. I mean, I love him, y'all. Anyway, I know enough about my reindeer. But look at it. And that joy I, is one of those metal letters that comes in that pack where you got joy and peace and believe. Um, that one I spray painted last year and I thought I'll just use that and put that on my little sign. And I'm just going to hot glue him down. That would be perfectly fine for him. And I tack his little ears down. <clears throat> and I'm going to take um, super glue gel. And put it all over the back of my little metal word. Put on my look. I've always used super glue gel. Not always, but I use super glue gel on, on these little metal words and stick them on stuff. And trust me, it sticks quick and it don't go anywhere. I've had stuff stuck to stuff, stuck stuff for stuff, stuff for stuff. Anyway, it stays. And um, oh, I did add two little tiny pine cones to his mess of flowers or greenery and stuff there and then look those little stickers i've had those for two years and um i wish i had more because what had happened was i had a gap well i learned their foam little foam uh, stickers with glitter on them and they're sticky on the back and look after you put that bad boy down he ain't coming up so anyway i don't know if it's felt or foam Anyway, it don't matter. I had a gap, and I was like, oh, I wish I had just one more, but I but I didn't. And then I was like, oh, no, can I move them? And I'm like, oh, no, that's not happening. So, anyway, I think it still turns out adorable. So, yeah. And I take some pit berries. They're the shiny, pearly-looking ones from uh, the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make my hanger, and I just, uh, like, uh, squiggly up the ends of it. And um, I put hot glue, and then I put masking tape over it. And, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I was making sure I got it even. Because y'all know I've, I've glued them on upside down and everything before. 
If I'm not mistaken, didn't I do it in my B video? Anyway, I got that ribbon a year or two ago, and it came from the family dollar for a dollar. It's probably $10 this year. And I'm just going to make a little bow. bow. Now, look, I just folded it over, <clears throat> two loop or one loop on each side. And then I'm going to cut a piece off here. This bow's really easy. And then I circled all the way back around. See? And then I flatten it down to make sure, yeah, it's uh, even with the bow I make. I don't know why I do that part. but And then I cut little tiny slits in it. Mm-hmm. Even in that bottom part there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I'll pull, oh, I'm going to take me a piece of jute and wrap it around it. And I'm going to tie it once. And then, and then, and then, and then. And then, I know, I don't know why I do that almost every time, y'all. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to pull that down and I'm going to cut it. Now, look, when you're doing dovetails, here's my advice. When, fold the ribbon towards you. When you fold the opening towards you and cut up, you'll get it right every time. I still mess it up and I know that little tip, but I still mess it up. So, Anyway, just trying to be helpful here. And I'm going to hot glue my little bow on. But first, I take those little greenery picks I got from the Walmart this year. And I'm going to glue them to the upper left-hand side. I don't know why I'm screaming. And then I'm going to um, glue my bow down. I don't know what I'm doing next. Oh, I take white eucalyptus. And I stick it up behind my bow. And I think I stick it underneath the greenery. <clears throat> so sorry. That just sounds so gross, but my throat's killing me. And I put, what do I put in the center of my bow? Oh, I put a silver jingle bell. And this is so cute, y'all. I love it. I hope y'all like it too. Look at him. Do y'all think that's too much plaid? I didn't think so. I like it. I can't help it. Maybe maybe my bow shouldn't have been plaid, but oh well, it is. I just think it's cute. Okay, y'all, right. I got that thing here from the Dollar Tree, and um, I think they still have them because they still have a lot of the fall stuff out. And I'm just going to sand that down the best I can because I'm going to give it two coats of... Uh, Rust-Oleum Lumite -like Chalk Paint, and I just want to cover it up, and that Carolyn got me that little truck, and I'm going to take my heat tool and take the fender off. Now, y'all probably won't have to do this, but I do take the tree off. You need to remove the tree, unless you want it. <clears throat> but my fender was crooked, and I had to glue it on straight because I'm crazy, so that's the only reason I took my fender off. And so, I first paint it with that um, lacquer, and then I'm like, mm, no, and I go over and I paint it with crimson later. But I paint my tires black, and I got two of those, um, that brain teaser game. <clears throat> and I'm going to paint them both with that ink chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to take silver lining, and I'm going to paint those two little circles from that bag of brick and brack I got a couple years ago or last year, whenever, from the Dollar Tree. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take two tumbling tower blocks. And glue them side by side like that. Now, y'all can take a craft stick, one of them dominoes or whatever. I use a piece of a paint stir stick. And the only reason I use it is because it was laying right there. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll use this. So, I'm going to glue them like down at the, yeah, in my little truck. <clears throat> and I do paint that also with crimson. And I do paint the backside red and the tie. But, you know, take it from me. Don't put that on there until you're done with your truck. Because I'm like, dude, really? So, then I had to find a block to put under it. So, I was going to make white wall tires because that's my dad's favorite. But, I messed it up. So, they just ended up being black tires. So, anyway, at calendar, 2023 calendar, the Christmas picture, the little one, I cut out the back and I cut it down the size. And, I'm going to Mod Podge it on my little door of my truck. Whew. Gee whiz, y'all. I talk, 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 and talk, and talk, and talk, and talk, and I'm just like, I lost my breath. Anyway, this little Christmas tray I got at the Dollar Tree, it's in that cobblestone or whatever that is. Now, I've never seen them before. It lights up and it's got a little star on top of it. And it's cute. And actually, it was the size, I got one of them, but thank goodness it was the size I needed because my other ones were too small. My other ones were way too big. And that one's just right, just like Goldilocks and Three Bears. My mom's name's Goldie. Anyway, um, random. 
<clears throat> so I hot glued that down there. I bent it and hot glued the bottom part of it to my, like, little bed thing I made there in my truck. Yeah. And now I'm slowly showing y'all me Mod Podging the, um, calendar piece on. Yeah. Didn't want to leave that out. And anyway, I'm going to take that ribbon. I cut that ribbon for a bow early and didn't use it. And I'm going to wrap it around my um, thing there that I painted white. Yeah. And then I didn't have enough, of course. So, that's just how my life goes. And so, so tragic. If that's the worst thing ever happens to me, then I've got it pretty good, right? So, anyway, I just... <clears throat> wrap that all around we'll just make that the back which you can't even really see it kind of blends in really good and i'm gonna hot glue those um mine teaser brain teaser games uh pieces i've already glued them to my tires and i hot glued them down to my little red thing so then those little blocks that was randomly sitting there on my desk that i used to prop my truck up i was like huh i got an idea so I paint the bigger one. It's like two inches tall and one inch wide. And then the other one's like one by one. And I have no clue where I got them. But you could use them little dice from it, Oshie. And I painted the other one white. I love y'all. Miss y'all so very much. It's been really busy and hectic lately. Um, Seriously. So, anyway. <clears throat> that white one, I take little... um. This cute little ribbon. I think I got this from Dollar Tree, y'all. It's burlap with like, um, with like baker's twine wrapped around the ends of it. And anyway, I wrap it up like a Christmas present. I made a teeny, 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 tiny bow. And, uh, I just did the shoelace bow. And with that ribbon, yeah. And I hot glued it on top of my, that present. And now, with the green one, um, I wrap it up like a Christmas present also. Um, but I don't make a bow for it because my white package is going to be sitting on top of my green package in the back of my pickup truck. Ain't that cute? Anyway, yeah, I need drink, y'all. Mm-mm. Oh, it's hot now. Um, so then I take a fan brush and, um, my white paint and I just kind of make everything a flock, everything. I make it snowy looking. Even put extra on that tree because that tree didn't have enough. And it didn't cover up the lights either. It still looks cute. Yeah. So, oh, there I go. I meant to glue that green package at an angle, but I didn't. And then, then I just take some Christmas trees and I hot glue them down to the... He's picking up his Christmas tree and his presents and he's going home. Ain't that cute? Um, I wanted to put some Epsom salt down, and then I realized I didn't have any Epsom salt, so I didn't put it down. <laughs> anyway, and then, um, I'm not quite finished, of course. I take some antique wax, and I want to make my truck look a little bit dirty. Yeah. I want it to look like an old farmer's truck, you know what I'm saying? My dad had an old truck one time, an old gray one like that, and it just, I'll, I'll never forget running in the back of it down them country hollers where we live. Anyway, here it is, y'all, and I hope y'all like it. I think it's adorable. And you can set that on a mantle, just a shelf sitter, just set it anywhere under your Christmas tree. Look at the little presents. <laughs> and the Christmas lights on it in the little store. Well, I just think that's cute. Yeah. Okay, here we go, y'all. This one. I'm taking that little Merry Christmas thing, that little goofy egg yolk thing, and that rabbit head. And I'm going to draw out some antlers here, and I'm going to take my knife, and um, I'm going to cut out the antlers that I drew. I was going to, I'm doing the best frosty I can. But anyway, when I get it all cut out, it was easy to do. I just sand it down real good. And I'm going to take that ornament bowl there from the Dollar Tree from last year and that paper, and I'm going to Mod Podge it on there. Um, and then I'm going to paint my reindeer head in fawn. And then I paint the antlers with black because when I look at Frosty, he had black antlers. And I was like, well, huh. And I'm going to take that lid from a nut jar. Where I use it as a coaster. I was going to put it on my scale. But anyway, neither here nor there. <clears throat> and I paint his face. I trace that out and paint his face. Now I'm going to cut that uh, white off of that egg, what little bit there is. 
and I painted in crimson chalk paint. It smelled awful when I painted it. I had to give it three coats. And I'm going to take some brown felt and cut it, uh, cut me some little ears out. And then I'm going to take some of that white car wash towel and cut me like the little center parts of my ears. I know this is fast, y'all, but I mean, there's a lot of us, 12 of us in this playlist and I can't have an hour long video. I need other people to get watched. And anyway, go put that in my ears and yeah, Jackie and, and Missy and Megan and Amy and Sarah and Sarah and Tammy and Tammy, please go check them all out. And Misty and Missy and these are some great girls, y'all. Very talented. Um, anyway, and I just glued my reindeer ears down. And then I'm going to dry eyes. Now, you know Frosty's eyes are like those little raindrop, teardrop eyes. And I paint the inside of them white. And then I'm go going to mark them my bell. I'm going to uh, glue that metal piece back on and take them beads that was from that little uh, tassel thing and make my hanger with it. Now I'm going with my um, glass marker from the Dollar Tree. It's black, and I'm going to finish his uh, <clears throat> excuse me, his eyeballs. And I glued my little red egg yolk on his on his face and paint my little thing in crimson. And then I make him a little bow tie. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. And I don't know. Oh, hot gluing down. <laughs> Leave that in. And then I'm going to put my little Merry Christmas banner thing down there. Put his bow tie on him. And there he is, y'all. I think he's cute. <laughs> I think he's cute. <laughs> you wouldn't even know he was a bunny rabbit, would you? I know. Right? Right I think here. he's a I got one of them garbage baskets, uh, yeah, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just smashing it in. <laughs> Y'all see me? I'm just smashing, 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 trying to flatten it out some. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. My allergies and stuff kill me. And um, I lost my voice, but I, I got it back. So, yeah, I hope I make it through this video. So, anyway... Um, I'm trying to make that bottom part flat and bend that and finagle around. I left this in here so y'all can see how I do it because I realize I do cut a lot of stuff out. Um, because most y'all think, oh, you know what you're doing? Then these new crafters like, I don't know how you did it, you know what I mean? And I'm sorry, I don't mean to be that way. Anyway, okay, I got that black felt from the Dollar Tree. Now, you may only need one roll. I had a part of one there and I had another one. And I started with the part of one, so I'm not sure. I, I think it shouldn't take more than one. But anyway, I'm going to set my basket on top of it and cut me out a square, you know, about the right size of what I need there. And I'm taking Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I'm putting it on top of my basket. And I'm going to take a piece of that felt and put that up on top there. Now, the reason I have gloves on, if y'all been with me a well, while, you know, I cannot stand to touch that stuff here. Arr, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Anyway, I'm going to cut me some slits in it here. And I'm just going to take um, some hot glue. And I'm going to tack that, that down where I cut the slits. See what I'm doing? Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, anyway, here I'm just cutting off the excess from that. And then I'm going to take my other piece of felt that's left over. I'm going to wrap it around the, the top part of my basket there which is now the top part of my hat anyway so i'm just gonna wrap it around and and glue that down you y'all saw why i was talking what i'm doing and now i'm gonna cut slits in again now don't tack it up until you got those slits cut and got it under control anyway i'm gonna make a little hem there and fold that in because i want that back to look real nice and then i'm gonna hot glue that down nice and tight and make sure i get all those other pieces hot glued down and then just cut off our excess there now i got a piece of cardboard and i'm gonna just trace it out well twice because it was a hole in it and i messed it up and just set your little hat on there and Trace it out, and then I'm going to take another piece of felt and one of those chalk pins from the Dollar Tree and trace out my cardboard. And then, y'all might want to do this before you make this, if you make it. I happen to have another 
basket, so I was able to put that on there, but you need to really probably do that ahead of time. So, anyway, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to get chalk marker on your hat that you're making that's got the felt on it already. Oh, my goodness. I'm the worst explainer in the world. So, anyway, we're going to throw that over there and make sure it fits. Y'all saw what I did. Cut that out. and Take that Aileen's Tacky Glue and some hot glue, and I'm going all around the outside of my cardboard there because I want to glue my hat down to it. I'm going to cut off the rest of that cardboard there that's hanging over on, on you know. And um, then I'm going to put my that piece on. I don't know what you call it, just that piece. And I'm taking Aileen's Tacky Glue, but don't do it on your cutting mat right there. Do it on, um, yeah, do it on your silicone mold, something, whatever you're working on top of and not your mat. You don't want to ruin it. And then I'm cutting more slits and uh, go all the way around it real good. Now, if you watch my fingers, I put my finger down before I get right to the, I mean, right to the edge, but don't go all the way to the edge. But I mean, it's close. Anyway. And um, then we're going to cut off the excess because you don't want all that bulk up underneath your hat. If y'all do this, if any of y'all do, please send it to me. And we're just going to take hot glue and we're going to uh, uh, fold all that stuff underneath there. Those slits we cut and, and hot glue them underneath our hat. Got that ribbon from Walmart and I love it. It's beautiful. Anyway... <coughs> I'm just going to wrap it around there and cut it off. I know y'all was like, I don't want to see all that you trying to add on. But I just wanted y'all to see. And I needed help. But I ended up choosing that one. And I just tacked it in the back where that seam already is. And, um, yeah. Oh, so I'm going to take two of these picks. I got them from the Walmart. Y'all pulled them off a pick. And <coughs> I'm going to take you and... <coughs> Wrap them up real good because I want something substantial for that glue to hold on to when I glue it to my hat. I'm sorry, y'all. So, I'm going to take those little berries, those little flock berries I got from the Dollar Tree this year. And, man, I went crazy. I went hog wild with them berries. I glued like 45 of them on there. No, I didn't. But I did glue like four of them. I was just going berry crazy. And I glued me two little pine cones on there. And this is just too cute, y'all. And, um... I take some of that faux snow from the Dollar Tree, and I don't put Mod Pod down or any kind of adhesive spray or nothing. Anyway, eh, eh, here it is. It looks like I need to pull that tight, but I think this is so pretty. And seriously, I'm going to put it on top of my tree. And seriously, if I remember, I'll take a picture and show y'all with it on top of my tree. So, y'all. Okay, right here, I got that picture thing from the Dollar Tree, and... I'm just going to cut it open and take the back out. And I pulled them little roses off, and I was trying to get that. And the first one went good. I'm like, yes. And then the second one ripped the paper. I'm like, great. So I tried to remove as much as that I could. You can't hardly get that paper off there. I sprayed water on it and everything. It's got that plastic coating on it, and you just can't do it. Look at it. And I'm going to sand down my frame real good and sand down that thing real good because sometimes you can't paint them frames because it's got a clear plastic coat on it. And those, y'all, those are so pretty. As soon as I saw them, I was like, I've got to have these. I love ice skates for Christmas, and these are just so pretty. So I'm going to take my heat tool and my little Cricut spatula, and I'm going to get my stars off there. Now, I'm going to take the top off of that left one because I don't like them facing each other. I think that's silly. I think they ought to face away from each other. You know what I mean? But them facing each other makes you look like you're goofy and you can't walk. Anyway, so I'm going to take a piece of just printer paper here. And I'm going to trace out that little shoelace area um, and the little shoelace holes that's on that one. And, well, yeah. Anyway, and I'm just gluing that piece right there back on the opposite side that I'm doing everything on. See, it fit perfect with the little hole. Now, I painted them black, and here's where I went wrong. Went wrong, went wrong, went wrong. Anyway, you see the little sole of the ice skate on the right-hand side there? I didn't realize, you know, that was there, and I painted my whole skate, so I had to fix that, y'all. So I took um, metallic st uh, sterling silver uh, paint by Foco Work, and I painted my blades, 
and I'm taking ca uh, not cashew shoot plaster and painting the top and and my sole of my shoe. Now see, I had to just freehand it and go over. I should have just I couldn't. Well, I could have traced it out and then just done it like that. But I wasn't thinking about it till just now. But whatever, damage done. So I'm going to take my metallic marker there. <clears throat> Excuse me, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to trace out my little uh, lace area of my boots. And where I traced that earlier with that printer paper, I'm just going to lay it on top of that skate and just press really hard, tracing over what I'd already done. What You know what I mean? And then I, you, there's an indention there with that pencil if you press real hard, and I just took my metallic marker and went over that there. And then I'm going to take my little snowflakes and paint them in the plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And I got that piece of paper from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to cut it out. I traced out my little frame. Take my glue stick. Because I don't have to worry about this stick because it's going to be in that frame. <laughs> Did that even sound like a sentence? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put my thing back together. And, um, goodness. Oh, I'm going to take that car wash rag and I put it at the top of my little skates. I wish I could have put it down around the bottom, but you know. Anyway, I could, I'm could. i not that talented. And I'm just hot gluing that down on there. <clears throat> then I got this silver um, glitter glue. And I'm going to put it on my snowflake and on my little lace things there. And all around the sole of my little shoes because I wanted these to be fancy. They have bougie skates. Bougie. Anyway, take some baker's twine, three pieces I got from Dollar Tree, and I braid it up real good. And, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, glue my, my snowflake. Now, I use Aileen's tacky glue so I can get them in the right spot without dropping them and being all crooked. And even if there's blobs of glue, it dries clear and you can't see it. So, I just glue my snowflakes down with that. I'm going to hot glue my baker's twine to the back of my ice skates. I love this, y'all. I totally love this, and so easy. Well, I make things difficult because I'm so picky, but whatever. And I'm going to take masking tape here, and I like to put it sticky side up and take two other pieces and tape down the ends of it. And I got those Scrabble pieces from Miss Shelly Craig sent them to me. Thank you. And um, I'm going to put them on there. I put Let It Snow, and I'm going to paint them in the ink chalk paint by Waverly. And you can still see the indentions of the um, letters. So I take my metallic paint or metallic pen from the Dollar Tree, and I just write over where the letters are, where I, where I can see through them. And I go a couple swaps and make it good and thick. And then I'm going to take um, this little glittery uh, clothes pen got from the Dollar Tree forever ago and I'm gonna glue my little baker's twine in there make it look like it's holding my skates up and I'm gonna overlap them here and I thought oh, maybe I can leave that one hang not glue it nope you can't do that because it's gonna flop around so I hot glue them both down and I put my little words let it snow <clears throat> oh my goodness y'all I miss y'all so much, and I love you all to pieces, and you know there's thousands of YouTubers on here, and you could be watching any of them, and you guys watch me, and that means the world to me. I don't even think you guys realize how much that absolutely means to me, and how much each and every one of y'all mean to me, and we're getting close to 20,000. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It is amazing. And this journey has been so wonderful. And it's all because y'all, this channel don't belong to me. It belongs to y'all because you all are the one that makes it. And I love you guys and I appreciate it. But here it is and I hope y'all like it. I think that is adorable. It's really, really pretty. Something for Christmas just to set out. And I just think, I just love it. I absolutely love it. And I hope y'all like it too. Okay. Right here, now, I got two of those signs from the Dollar Tree, and I'm taking the hanger off. And I thought I was going to need two of them, and then I realized I don't. I just need one of them. So, I'm going to uh, measure out in the middle, and I do it all the way down. Like, I find the center and go all the way down my sign so I can get it even as I can because... I'm going to lay that yardstick down there. Little did I know that's the yardstick that I cut up, so it's a little bit choppy. 
and um yeah i shouldn't have used that one but i did so what do you do but that's fine everything worked out i'm okay no drama i ain't mad at it anyway and i just uh trace that out and then i take my knife and um i needed a new blade i, I put a new blade on it later but i just keep going down the center until i can snap it and then cut cut through it the rest of the way and it's not really hard guys it's really not just keep going over it and then i'm going to cut off that excess where i snap it there and um right here i'm just making the ends of it and i i drew it and y'all can measure it make it all nice and neat but i i don't care that much and it is a little bit crooked but i sand it down really good but it is crooked as a dog's hind leg but anyway, and I just lay the one on top of the other and trace that out and get the same uh, thing there. Look how crooked that is. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, and then I paint them both white, making sure I get the sides um, really good, too. And there's my inspiration. That's a little ornament I got from the Dollar Tree. And I was going to do it gray and everything, but I changed my mind because I wanted mine colorful. But isn't that cute? I want to make sure y'all saw it. And that's so cute. And I got to think, you could take a lot of those ornaments from the Dollar Tree and just big size them, like biggie size them, like you do at the at the Big Mac uh, store, um, McDonald's. Yeah. Anyway, and I just take two skewers there from the Dollar Tree and I measure them out the same length of my little skis there. <clears throat> and I cut them off and I'm going to paint them both white. Okay. I got one of them arrows there from the Dollar Tree and we're going to remove all the jazz from it and i'm going to trace out there getting as straight as i can and line that up because i'm going to cut the butt off my arrow <laughs> i don't know what it's called it's rear end it's behind it's backside that's what it is i can't say the point is because it's got a point in the other end but i don't know i'm just cutting that piece off anyway and then i'm going to save it because i might be able to use that for something you know what i'm saying anyway I know I'm cutting all kinds of stuff, and I'm going to take that vintage green and paint that. And now, y'all, my camera went dead, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to explain some stuff. So I put um, painter's tape, I lined my signs up even across, did half-inch gaps in between at the top and the bottom. And on my Cricut, I cut out some snowflakes. And I'm going to paint my stripes green. And I'm going to paint my snowflakes red. I know y'all's like, red snowflakes? But it's so cute, y'all, when it's done. And I take red glitter and I sprinkle. I know glitter, right? All, while on that red paint while it's wet. So, yeah, I lost all kinds of footage. And I just kept working and didn't realize my camera was dead and dirt the dirt. Anyway, so, and I cut out let it snow. And I put the, let, the letters down. And I'm doing a reverse stencil here. I know, so confusing. And um, I put a piece of tape down so I could get my letter straight. And then I painted two little circle things I got from the Walmart. And then I painted a snowflake and put it on the end of my arrow and did little lines and stuff. Sorry, y'all, my camera went dead. And those little things come, those round things come in a six pack from Walmart. They were like a dollar or something. I don't even know. And I've had those things for two years. So anyway, just now using them. And I take them little squiggly things around like I do lines and dots and lines and dots on my little those things and I'm going to take that gorilla uh, glue heavy duty and I'm going to spray my signs hopefully that glitter will stay where it's supposed to be but you know how it is and I drilled holes in my little things there I found a bit the same size and I pushed it up on my poles I don't know just ski poles is that what they're I don't know what they're called I'm not a skier I tried to water ski one time and I kept doing splits and got water in my behind I'm like I'm done with this this is not fun when your legs are only 12 inches long it's really hard to get up on eight foot skis you know what I mean anyway <laughs> sorry um I'm okay went off on a tangent there I survived it though but anyway I'm just gonna line up my little skis here hair <laughs> And I'm going to crisscross my sign, and I and I measured it by my mat there to get it as even as possible. And boy, I hot glued it too. And I already covered up the backs. And I'm going to take one of them little cubes there from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put it there to have something to prop my, my poles on, because they ain't got them on their own. They was going somewhere. They were going to town. 
when one wanted roast beef. But anyway, so yeah, gonna crisscross them there. I'm gonna hot glue them. I put a lot, a uh, lot uh, hot glue. After that set, I put a lot, a uh, lot uh, more. I mean, I drenched that cube with hot glue. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Excuse me. And okay, I got that garland. Look at my just ignore my messy room from the Dollar Tree, and I make four uh, circles with it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, half because I'm gonna take four of them. And or I only cut two, but I need four. Anyway, that, it was too long the other way. And I push it in between my wreath there, and I attach it to my ski poles and up around my wreath to hold my wreath on there. <clears throat> I hope y'all understand that. I could, could somewhat see what I'm doing. Old Fat Dabby had her behind laying on my, my lot, and it was turning on and off, and I didn't realize it until <laughs> it was already too late. Anyway, just hot glue my little sign there, and I put little berries and little pine cones on my wreath. Y'all, this is my, oh my goodness, I love this. And I take that tartan plaid ribbon from Dollar Tree, and I make a little awareness bow. And uh, real simple, tied in the center with jute. And I'm going to hot glue it down. And then I cut my, my tails off. I'm taking a little red jingle bell and gluing it in the center. And y'all, oh my gosh look at this oh my gosh y'all please say that you love these as much as i do because i absolutely 130 percent love these i think i can make those strings from them and i'm not going to fill in the holes i'm going to sand them down a little bit okay i'm going to take some antique wax Y'all, stay with me here because, look, I did this like three weeks ago, two of these, and I'm trying to remember. And um, I just take a baby wipe and I stain them down. And then I'm going to take some cashew chalk paint by Waverly, and I'm going to give it like a um, uh, a messy coat, but a heavy messy coat. You know what I mean? I saw these little things on Instagram, these little, and I was like, oh, I want these so bad. Anyway, then I sand it down, and I decided to make it myself. I don't know how they made them. I know it wasn't how I did, but that's what I did. And that's that brick and brack stuff I got from the Dollar Tree like two years ago for a dollar. And I thought, oh no, what am I going to do with this? And I've just used it to death. And you all can take a quarter. I just thought about that. <coughs> Excuse me. But I took that little round piece and I drew a little head. And now I'm just drawing little dresses. Now look, you can do this. Anybody can do it. I mean, I'm telling you. I erased it ten times. No, not that many. But at least three. And... And fix stuff so y'all can do it. Look how easy. I'm just slurpy, slurpy, slurp. Like wrinkly, shaky, like drawing. You know what I mean? And then, now here, I I drew like a, a C and then made it like heavy, um, wide. You see what I mean? But I didn't connect it. Now, I know I'm out of frame and I'm out of frame a lot on this one because I got that new cam uh, pole because my other one was disco light. So, just bear with me. Um... And I'm going to take hot glue, and I'm just going to outline everything that I drew. I mean, everything. The dress, the wings, the head. But <clears throat> with the halo, I use wood glue hot glue, but on purpose, I just had to use my fine tip glue gun, and it shows up yellow, but I knew I was going to be painting it gold. But anyway, yeah, you draw it out. Just trace it out with your glue gun and get glue all over the whole thing. These things come out so cool. They're beautiful, you guys. I love them. And there, I use my fine tip to get the halo. <clears throat> hey, it's your skin. Help unclog my pores and prevent new acne with CeraVe Acne Control Cleanser. Mm. Oh, and then I take a chibi brush and I'm going to just dust all the um, glue webs away. Now, I'm taking that metallic um, paint. I believe it's by uh, Folk Art, I, I think. Um, no, no, I got that at Hobby Lobby. I don't know who made it, but can y'all see it? But I paint the halos with that. It's metallic gold. And then I take the Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I paint their wings and I give them two coats. And then I take that new color Dusk by Waverly, that blue, and that new color uh, Night Sky by Waverly. It's a blue. And I paint each of their dresses and each of the color. And then I take <clears throat> two pieces I just had, and I think it's from those little slats that come in the package. And I put antique wax on them. And I end up doing it in two um, craft sticks. Just regular popsicle sticks. I trace them out to make them the length of my little board there. 
and clip off the ends and I'm going to take cashew chalk paint and I'm going to do the exact same thing to them that I did to the bigger pictures. <clears throat> and y'all, I know, okay, then I'm going to take hot glue and some twine, wait a minute, and wrap it all the way around the top of my little pictures. I'm going to cover my little holes and, um, yeah, and just wrap that twine around through there and hot glue it down. Then I take two little LED candles and some of that burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I wrap it around my two little LED candles because I just thought it'd be cute with the jute twine that was wrapped around the top of the picture. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to set it down on top of my little shelf thing there. You see what you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And then I take hot glue and run it close to the back of my picture to make my shelf stand better. I do it to both of them. And here they all you are. Y'all, these are just so simple. Look at those. Oh, my gosh. I hope y'all love them as much as I do. I put heavier cashew in where their faces are. And y'all might not like them, but I love those. And hang them on the wall or set them on a shelf or anything. But anyway, <clears throat> I got one of them little shelf setter things, that square shelf setter thing. And I paint it black. And I've got a piece of that Shirley... There it is. Gutierrez. Shirley, I love you. Sent me, and <clears throat> I paint them black. So, with the outside and, and the in, inner circles of that. And I got that uh, little tile thing from the Dollar Tree. And it's going to take two of them. Now, it reminds me of that, that press tin. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to take my piece word, and I'm going to trace it out. And then I'm going to cut it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. But I cut out, like, the inner part of the C and, the, uh, and that. A with my um, exacto knife or the P and something. Anyway, and I just take the back off and lay it down there and take my exacto knife and cut that out. Now here I want to piece it together. So you're gonna have to cut off that edge trim, you know, where it's dark, because other way, other way, other way, otherwise it's not gonna lay together good. And I trace it out and cut it out and do all that same and put it on there too. It was actually easy, y'all. And I take Rust-Oleum Little White Chalk Paint and I put it on the top of that, like, stress it down. I think it looks good. Yeah. And then, um, I take my little finger sander and my and an emery board, big old fingernail file, and I sand down whatever's hanging over, and I splash paint on my thing. And I was like, well, let's just go with it. So I take that metallic paint. That's by Fogoer, for sure. And I just put my brush in it and run my finger over it and put little speckles all over. Happy accident. You know I'm like Bob Ross. You know I am. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, and on my cricket, I put on earth, goodwill to all. And I did it with this foil vinyl I got at Michael's a long time ago. And it looks good. And I just hot glued my peace sign on there. And I got them little silver trees at the Dollar Tree last year. I was like, I don't know why I got silver. I don't know what the world I'm going to do with silver trees. Well, now I know. And I hot glued them down in my little peace sign. And I took the leaves and a poinsettia, a white one. And I p pinched it off. No, clipped it up, cut it off. And glued it flat down to my sign there. And I think this is pretty, y'all. It's not really like colors I generally like. But I like this. I think it looks good. Mm-hmm. Yep, I do. What y'all think? I know I always say that. Y'all don't have to tell me. Well, you can. Anyway, um, I get those books at the Walmart for $5. I think they're five and some change now, I don't know. And there's SKU number, and there's the book. And I was going to flip through and find a piece of paper, and as soon as I opened it, I found that one, because it looks like handwriting all over it, and I think that's pretty. So, <clears throat> craft a mustache, y'all. And I'm going to put some Mod Podge down, a thin layer, and I'm going to put my paper on. Um, I I think Jesse made me cut off the camera. I got confused. <laughs> anyway, and I'm just going to sand off the excess stuff around it. Mm-hmm square plank, I don't know what to call those, in my package, and I'm going to paint it all over with cashew chalk paint by Waverly. Y'all, I've had that cashew for two years, and I'm going to take, and I got them at Walmart, them big bottles. I'm take one of them round things, there's two in a pack, and I'm going to hot glue it with a lot of uh, uh, hot glue to the little square thing, and just take my, my knife there and cut off the excess foam. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my cashew chalk paint and I'm going to paint that whole thing. Because I didn't, you know, if it's going to be seen, I like for it to be painted. I don't know if it will or not, but anyway. And I'm going to take that home decor 
wood tent, like I said, it's walnut, and distress my sign with it. Yeah. And I think this, guys, this looks really good and old and rustic, and I never used that wood, wood tent before, and Shelly Craig, a, res a rescriber, <laughs> subscriber, gee whiz, said she distressed with the, um, and she said she got it because I used it, and I never thought to distress with it, and I thought, oh my gosh, I love it, y'all. I think it looks so good. Um, yeah, don't you? Anyway, I know I'm asking y'all a lot today about what you think, and then if somebody tells me I'm going to cry and be like, they said I'm stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, I got that greenery, that fern is all it said from the Walmart a forever go to, and I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to poke um, holes in it with my little cricket tool because I couldn't hardly get in that foam, y'all. It was hard. And I just put some greenery down in there. I wanted it to be kind of dark, you know what I mean? And I put some of them pine little picks in there. And just a bunch of different old pieces of greenery that I've had over the years from the Walmart or from the Dollar Tree Christmas stuff. Good gravy. And um, put some berries in there. And I put me some little pine cones in there. And I put some frosted uh, glittery stuff in there. Uh, leaves and stuff. And I'll put a couple pieces of eucalyptus in there, um, little tiny pieces. And I love this. And I think I'm going to hang this on my um, my cathedral window this uh, Christmas, y'all. Because I think that's going to look good on there. Look, I love that. And it says, let it snow. Really, I don't want it to snow. But, and you know, it's just something you say for Christmas. And it's a cute little song. But I don't like the snow. No. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got one of those little round pieces of wood that I got off of Amazon. I think I got like 12 of them for $13.99, something like that. And I'm going to take that um, wood tent, that wild base wood tent from Focal Work. It's walnut. I'm going to stain my little piece of wood. Look, y'all. I got that at Sam's. But the pattern I'm going to use, I did see at the Dollar Tree. If I know that, I would have got that. But that was only $5.99 for 100 and. 50 pieces, but um, the Dollar Tree does have that um, plaid pattern. Um, I saw it day before yesterday. Anyway, in the tissue paper, um, just like that, that's tissue paper. So I'm just going to measure, and I'm just writing on the line because I figured at the straight as I'm going to be able to get it because I cannot cut a line to save my life. Someone held a gun to my head and said, cut this line. I'd be like, you're just going to have to get this and cut it straight. You're just going to have to shoot me. Anyway. Okay, so I used my paper trimmer for that exact reason why I just told you, but you got to be very careful because you will rip your paper. Learn that the hard way. Mm-hmm, sure did. Um, sorry, y'all. I was trying to shove some food in my face. At the end, I, I left a little funny, and I hope y'all stick around and watch. So, after I get it cut out, uh, the size I wanted, I was going to take a little bit of Mod Podge, put it down, a little bit of Mod and I didn't do that, but. Got my saran wrap there, y'all. See, y'all told me, and I'm using it, and it works. And I got my little brayer. You can just use your hands. But anyway, I went to do the next section. I said, ah, forget it. I'm just going to cover the whole thing. Let's see what happens here. Hey, it worked out. It looks good. Put my saran wrap down. Uh, braid it. And anyway, then just rub my hands over it still anyway. And the saran wrap. After it dries, I got my little finger sander there. That came from Amazon also. I'm just going to, yeah, sand the sides off of it. Wasn't no sense in pulling up my mat and doing all that jazz to cut it off that little bit. So, anyway. Oh, sorry. I didn't. Well, okay. That was Errol Roy. He came to clean up. So, on my Cricut, I printed out, welcome, um... That was in Cricut Design Space. I did not design it. Uh, I just typed in the word welcome, and that came up. I'm like, well, there you go. Don't even have to worry about it. So there's no font to tell y'all about. Just, um, yeah, search the word welcome. There's not that many. I thought there'd be more than what there was. Anyway, I'm just trying to line it up here because, of course, I want it to look nice and be straight, but the words is written kind of wonky, you know, not right. So, eh, I kind of like that, though, too. So, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do in here. Oh, okay, so I got a piece of wire. Um, I don't know what that wire is from, but it, it's a ball of wire there I got, and I just cut a piece off the length I wanted to make my hanger. And I got those beads from Walmart, and I'm gonna put a tan one, a red one, and a dark brown one. And I think I used nine. I don't. I don't remember. So I cut off the ends of those paint stir sticks. See right there. And what I thought I'd do, and line it up. Line your handle up, because I have actually glued it on upside down before. And I twisted my wires, little knots on the end, like rolled them up. Put some hot glue down. Put my paint stir stick on there. And you guys, I took my stapler. Because I wanted that thick piece of wood. Because I was like, I don't want it to go through, you know. And I stapled it twice. And stapled it to my table. Thank goodness my mat was there, right? But anyway. And the little teeny tiny tips that came through. Shh, Jesse. I just took my wire cutters and cut it off. And got those picks from Walmart for $1.48. I thought they was pretty rustic looking and I took some floor wire and I wrapped them together to get them to stick together real good because it was hard twist and the wire was really hard mm-hmm and I'm just gonna glue it down there y'all I think this is so pretty I really do take my little spatula and scrape that glue up I didn't want it showing anywhere take that burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and take that plaid ribbon from heaven only knows where and I just did the awareness bow flip them together Took um, a pipe cleaner and then wrapped the ribbon around it. And there you go. Cute little bow. Simple and easy. And just going to glue it down to my little. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. I love those colors together. I think that is beautiful. So very rustic. I just I adore it. I can't believe how well the beads match and everything. I think that is beautiful. Yes, I do. I had to show you this because... Oh my goodness, I nearly peed my pants. Look how easy that paper come up off both them boards. Look at that. Look, normally I like to peel the edge back because I don't want to hang it over, but that came right off there. So I took some of my Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I tried to get as close to the edge as possible because I wanted the edge to, sh to shut up, to shut up, to close up. <laughs> and I glued my boards together there. And took me some little clamps from the Dollar Tree and clamped it together till it dried. And I put um, in my little holes there where the twine was. I did that lightweight spackle, wait till it dried, sand it off, and I'm painting it in Waverly White Chalk Paint. Now I'm showing you there that I'm painting the sides, but it's not necessary if you take the next step that I took. Okay, y'all. So, I'm taking some tumbling tower blocks. And... At the end of this, you will see how many, because I've already forgotten. Anyway, I glued them together, and I'm painting them black with the Waverly Chalk Paint ink. And I got some painter's tape there, and I'm going to line it up uh, close to the edge as possible. I want it on the edge, because I'm going to make me some stripes in my board. And take my little clothespin and my little makeup wedge, and just dive it down through there. Dabba 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 said the monkey to the chimp. <laughs> See how thin that one was? I was like, dude, that's way too thin. I don't know why I did that. Because I didn't measure. I just guessed. I stood on there. Because that's going to my mama's house anyway. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Prefer to sit on her front porch. Yep. And, oh, <laughs> if it bleeds a little bit, which mine did... I just took me a paintbrush and a really, really, really fine, wait a minute, a fine paintbrush and cleaned it up. And I made two lines that way in the black and one this way in the red. I think I made that one too wide and I wish I went thinner, but I didn't. And the black, I, I pulled it down over one of the lines to make it look like, you know, it's going underneath, the red's going underneath one of them. And on my cricket, I printed out, Jesus is the reason for the season. Whoever came up with that was brilliant. I love that. That's cute, isn't it? Anyway, I think so. And I cut out some little holly leaves and some berries and put that on there. Mm -hmm. This thing is so pretty, y'all. Look, Jesse got a hold of my blocks and tore them up. Chewed them up and tore it apart. 
Had to do it all over again, y'all. Anyway, yeah, she's a knucklehead. So, here, I wanted a little bit of the the blocks to hang up over and under. Under, I'm making a stand, so y'all don't have to do that, but of course I did. And I'm taking wood glue and hot glue, wood glue, and I'm lining it up down there with my square, making sure it's all even on the bottom, and gluing it down. What am I doing? Oh, glued the wrong side I did, so I had to scrape that glue. I can't stand for things to be messy and, and weird. I can't. I gotta I gotta clean it up. I, I can't. I'm very anal about my crafts. And I know anal is a gross word, but I couldn't think of anything else to use, and I'm sorry. Beep. Just beep it out. Anyway, so, looky there. Gluing on my frame on there, and then I'm gonna make sure I tack it down in the back, because, you know, I want it to stay. And then, I, there was a gap up there in that one... And so, I took dial, yeah, it was going to drive me crazy. I took dial rods, painted them black, and put it in between the gaps and put it all around the frame. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. Got my dog nail clippers there. Those are wonderful for cutting dowels. I forgot I had them. But I need some new ones. Mine's not very sharp anymore. They're losing their, I've been using them for a year, y'all. So, just lay your dial rod there. Make, look, make a little pencil mark. See, one needs sharpen or need new ones. Cut it off and put your little die rod in there. I got mine from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Like I said, I've been using them for a year. Cut a ton of things with them, die rods with them. Y'all to consider it. So then I took six more tumbling tire blocks and glued them to my little legs that's coming down there. And look, my little sign does stand. Oh, I had to paint those ends because that was going to drive me nuts. See, I'm crazy. I got to do all the extra. 38 tumbling tire blocks is how many it took to do this sign. Y'all could put a bow on it or whatever, but I thought this was just so pretty. Oh, I was going to show you too. If you didn't like that at the top, just put three more tumbling tire blocks, paint them black, and you won't even see it. Just be framed in. But look at that, how pretty. <coughs> Need a drink. <coughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me. Ugh. Good gravy. Sorry, y'all. See, isn't that pretty? I think so. And look, and it stands. It stands perfect. I got um, pretty little pine. Oh, so I got one of these little belief signs. And I tore the burlap little thingy off there, you see. It came off pretty easy. And then I sanded it down, but I don't know where I went there for a minute. Anyway, I'm going to paint the entire thing white at first. Just wanted to get them all good. So, I got that Buffalo check paper. It's 25 cents because you get four for a dollar um, at Hobby Lobby. I was going to say Home Depot. Make sure you poke out your little hole there in that B. Anyway, so I traced that all out. Even that little hole. This looks intimidating, but it's not as bad as you think. You cut most of it out with, with scissors, but um, then the little tiny parts I got with my X-Acto knife. Like that little tiny hole. I don't know what I was doing there. So, there I got it all cut out. Laying down there. And I take my ruler there, and I line it up with the little square part of the sign. Well, that's not lined up there. And then I just fold it back to make sure I get it even. Put a little indention in it there. And then I'm gonna cut it with my little paper cutter because y'all, I cannot cut straight to save my life. If y'all can do it, kudos, I can't. Truly. And then it, I got it stuck. So, making sure it fits. Giving y'all thumbs up because it fits. Yay, it fits. <sighs> anyway, so, I'm going to take ink. I told you. Y'all, I'm always changing my mind. Painting the inside of my B there because I'm going to paint my B black. B is for black. Anyway, make sure you go um, fur, fur, fur over on the E. Um... 
I didn't go as far over, and then you drop your paintbrush just to get a spot of black there. Mm-hmm, yeah. Then you try to dab it off with a um, wipe, a wet wipe, and you can't, so you gotta paint over it. But anyway, yeah, go further over on your B because I didn't go far enough, and um, I had to go back in and do it. So I'm just giving a light coat of Mod Podge. My dog is in there. She's getting ready to say mom. If y'all um, follow me on Instagram, it's Crafting with Kathy Joe. I have a video of her on there saying mom. Anyway, so lay it down there. Make sure you get all them little pieces, like the little where the E's been and stuff like that. Get it all real good, real good. I went back over it um, on the top after it dried. I didn't show that. I don't know why. So I got six... Um, Five gallon paint stir sticks. Messed it up the last time. And I sanded as much as the lined off of it as I could. So I got my little um, ruler there. And I'm just making a little line. And then I'm going to paint, paint them together. Put painter's tape around them. I took them out to the miter saw and cut it off. But you can cut it off with your little miter box or you can score it. Um, I got those little letters there from the Dollar Tree. I, those are just adorable. Look at them. Look at them. And I thought that I could do two of each of the same pattern, but yeah, it didn't work that way. So it's just all over the place. And then drop your eye in the middle of the thing and be grateful it, was, it didn't stick. You can pick it back up. And that's going to say, believe in the magic of Christmas. Now, that's what the sign originally said. But I just wanted to put my own little twist on it. I put painter's tape down there so I could get my Christmas straight. But, to be honest, my painter's tape could have been crooked. <laughs> Remove my painter's tape. So, I'm going to glue, left little gaps, kind of like a little uh, palette, um, on my paint stir sticks. And I just used hot glue. I was going to use wood glue and I didn't and I don't know why, but it stuck. It's staying, and I'm going to take antique wax, and I'm going to put it all over it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This thing is beautiful when it's done. I love it. I'm in love with it. I just absolutely adore it 100%. I hope y'all feel the same way. So I put some on, wipe it off, you know, all the way down, did the whole thing, and then I put one of them little wooden Christmas trees, all those little past things you get from. And if you like mine, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe. If you're a new visitor, stick around, stay a while. We'll have some fun, we'll have some laughs, and make some cute DIYs. I think that thing is gorgeous. I just do, I do, I'm in love with it. I'm so sorry, I'm not being vain, but I absolutely adore it. And it's big. Okay, right here I took one of them pot belly vases from Dollar Tree, it's what they're called. And I took one of those um, small snow globes, and I painted them both with white chalk paint. Gave them two coats. Now, I'm going to take some fairy lights here. Now, I got those from Amazon, like, forever and a day ago. Um, a year and a half ago, just now opening, got a bunch of them. And I'm going to stick them up in his head. <laughs> and then, put not put the lid on, but put that little plastic piece that comes with them snow globes. And it's going to hold my lights up in there. If you put the lid on, um, it ain't going to fit right unless you do it upside down. Anyway, so I'm just going to take one of them buffalo check socks from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make him a little hot. Hot? No. Hat. First, I was going to make him a beanie. And then, I changed my mind and I went with a longer hat. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she stole four packs of crackers out of the pie safe, y'all. She got the door open, and I shut it, and she went up there and opened it and got them again. Anyway, so I cut the toes out of the um, sock there, because, like I said, I was going to do a beanie. But I ended up using the upper part of the sock. And I just put it down around his head, and I took my paint markers, and I'm going to draw them little eyes. Yep. <laughs> and his little mouth. It's going to be, he's so cute. Um, oh, and, and a carrot nose. Yep, little orange nose. Lord, she's a mess. She's in my way. I thought to be sure that nose was going to go all the way across his face. It didn't. Anyway, look at that. How cute, y'all. 
Oh, and then I put little Watts in the middle of his black eyes. Well, I wish I wouldn't have done that. It looked better without it. So, anyway, I'm just going to, yeah, hot glue his little hat down all the way around his head. I'm making me another snowman candy dish, y'all. Ain't it cute? Oh, my goodness. I've never seen anybody do this before. <laughs> anyway, if someone has, I'm sorry, but I've never seen it done. Anyway, and I'm just going to make him three little black buttons on his belly. I thought that looked like a little snowman <laughs> my face. <laughs> oh, and I draw him little stick arms on the side. <laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. <clears throat> going to take some Hershey's Kisses and dump them down in there in his body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And put his head on. And his head fits right on there. If you don't put that plastic piece, square it on. Square it on. Screw it on on the bottom of it. If you just put that rubber-like piece in it, it fits right down that vase. And I'm going to take another piece of sock, another sock, cut it longwise. I'm going to make him a little scarf. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that. Mm. Y'all, look at him. <laughs> you just glue his little scarf on around his neck. Don't glue it on his head. You got to glue it to the top of the vase. You'll see here in a minute. If y'all recreate it, which I think you should because I think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, so it was kind of hard to get up out of there with that scarf on. So I just glued it down. Like, around, you see there. And then I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to trim all that off so I don't have any problem getting his head on and off. Because you just sit it right down in there, and it stays, you know, good and snug. And it comes in now there, I mean, easy. And you got you a snowman candy dish, y'all. Look at it. <laughs> I wish you could see his lights. His lights on, and he just glows up his whole little body and his head. Okay. Ain't he cute? So, got one of them sleds there from the Dollar Tree and just going to sand it down real good and take it apart. Now, y'all, when I was taking mine apart, I was like, it came off easy, but then I kept jabbing myself and I realized there's little nails in there. I mean, it was all through it. So, pull out your little nails and I'm just taking some plaster chalk paint here and just going to paint the entire thing so that red wouldn't come through. And then I'm going to throw down some Mod Podge, throw down... Anyway, and, um, yeah, take that black and white buffalo paper, buffalo check paper, put it on there, and also do my little handle steerer thingy, put it down on there, yep, just gonna bray it down, and then I'm gonna take two five-gallon paint stir sticks, two more, and mineral chalk paint by Waverly, I'm gonna paint the entire stick. Front side, back side, down side, and four tumbling tower blocks. Yeah. I don't know why I showed all this. Anyway, just take your craft knife and cut out your paper. Y'all, real easy. And then sand it down a little bit around the edges in case you have any pieces sticking out. Now me, you know me, I'm extra. So I painted the back side of my sign black because I wanted it to look nice and finished. And I'm going to put Mod Podge on the front of it. Because, y'all, I forgot that. I missed that right corner again. Anyway, I just lined up my little uh, slave thingies there. Sled thingies on my mat. And glued tumbling tower blocks down. Because I wanted something for my uh, paint stir sticks to hold on to. And just glued them down. Put some glue on the tumbling tower blocks. And ba-bam. And then take your little handle thing. Hot glue it down in your little divots there it's perfect and i'm going to take two of those square blocks i didn't paint them i should have i need to and the ones with holes in them and i'm just going to put hot glue all down make sure it's down real good and take my brush and knock off the the spider glue webs anyway i'm going to take that pick courtesy of miss shelly and um she got it for me and it's from walmart and I'm just, I took it apart and took some jute and tied the bottom of it together to make it look all pretty and nice. Gonna hot glue that down. And, oh, I'm gonna make me a little bow. Now, one, I wish I'd made a bigger bow. I think it would have looked better. I think my bow is too small. 
Now I'm going to critique myself all through this video. And, um, so if y'all do it, make you, make you a bigger bow. My bow's way too small. And just going to fluff it out. And then I put tails on it. And then I change my mind and I cut my tails off. I'm like, I don't like the tails on it. But I glued three little pine cones down, little tiny pine cones down. One in the middle and two off to the side. See, I'm like, this looks stupid. So I'm just going to cut it off there. And my bow is still too small. It's, it's all fluffy and stuff. I just think it's too little. And on my cricket, I cut out dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Anyway, I'm going to take two of those small snowflakes. You know, I was telling you earlier, they're small, medium, and large. Well, those are small ones, and I glue two of them together. No, I don't. <laughs> I glue two of them to my sled. Yes. Oh. And then... I just take some baker's twine, and I'm going to run it through the holes in those little blocks. Yeah, you'll see here in a minute. Well, maybe. Y'all, I got to tell you, oh my goodness. Oh, run it through the both holes, up through one, down through the other. Tied off in a knot, and there's your little hanger. Yeah, I think this is just cute as can be. Cute as a Peter's button. I don't know what that means, but I hope it's cute. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? I just think it looks better than the little flat leg things it had on it. Unless you want the flat leg thing on it. You want it to lay flat against your wall. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got a piece of poster board from the Dollar Tree. Now, these are so cute and so easy. I'm just going to roll a corner of it up. I know, you think I'm making a Christmas tree, but I'm not. And I'm going to cut that piece there, that extra piece, and set it aside. And um, you roll it up to however wide or and tall you want it. And I just ran some hot glue down through there. and just going to hold it there till it dries. Stuck my hand up in there to fill it. And to fill it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to take um, my that knife and cut it loose. And going to take... Well, my glue gun. I, I must have secured this thing 87 times. Anyway, <clears throat> and I'm just going to cut the bottom off so it won't be wobbly. I do think I am going to make me some Christmas trees like that, though, y'all. I think they're cute. Anyway, see, there I go securing it again. But I think it'll stick a while. So I'm going to cut the top of it, off it, top off of it, um... To get it the height that I want and make me a megaphone. No, I'm joking. And the piece that I cut off, I just flipped inside out. Or inside out. I just flipped it upside down. Put some hot glue in it and shoved it back down in the neck of it. Because I want to make sure that it's good and thick. Now, I got that um, jute twine from the Walmart. And um, it's, not, it's not that expensive and you get a ton of it. So, um, I still like... And, I glue, I think the first three lab, lab, first three rounds, first three swaps at it, I don't know, the first three lines, I glued each of them, and then um, all the way, because I want to make sure it stayed, and then I just started wrapping, 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 and then I glue a little bit, and I wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap, that's why I like my Lazy Susan there, and it's easy to spin things on and when you get to the very top, <clears throat> I wrap it around and cover up all of that poster board. But I even laid it like, I even went like one um, round of jute, you see there? And I glued it to the rope so it set up higher than the poster board. Now, this is optional, but I'm just going to take my lighter and glue all the fuzzies off. <clears throat> now... Those styrofoam balls, y'all, $3.99 from Hobby Lobby, 50% off, so you get eight of them for $2, and you only get two of those big ones at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they're not that big, so it is a good deal. So I got my jute there again, and I'm going to fold a piece of it over, just the very tip, fold it over. Still can't find my silicone mat, y'all, I'm telling you the truth, <clears throat> so I'm using that pop holder or whatever that is i don't know what it is from the dollar tree and i just fold it again put some more glue on fold it again 
and I'm just going to wrap it around there um, a few times and get my jupe started like a snail. You just keep gluing the rope to the rope. Can you see what I'm doing there? So I can put it on top of my styrofoam ball. So after I get it on there, I'm just going to glue and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap again. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to wrap my entire ball. These will make beautiful ornaments, y'all, if you made them with these. And um, make those little balls um, for decorations or for um, uh, garlands. Yeah, great idea. But anyway, um, yeah, well, there you go. So when I get to the very end, of course, I just wrap and wrap and wrap. <laughs> I had to say it. But um, when you got like one little hole that you can see on the top of your styrofoam, just cut you off a piece of jute, throw you some glue down in it, fold it down inside of it, and you can't even tell. Well, you can tell where it begins and ends, but it still looks good. You know what I'm saying? I just took my lighter and burnt it. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Okay, a piece that I cut off a minute ago, I'm going to make another one. Um, but this one I'm going to do... I think they call it um, cotton rope or something now at the Dollar Tree. But when I got it last year, um, I got a whole case of that stuff. <clears throat> they called it white nautical rope. So I'm going to call it white nautical rope. So I'm going to take my white nautical rope from Dollar Tree and that plastic bowl. Now, I didn't put one in the other one in case you wanted to use it as a tree topper. But this one, I'm going to put it in there. Um... Just for, I, what I should have done is stuck some rocks up in it to give it some weight. You know what I mean? To make sure it stood upright. Um, but I didn't do that. Because I was like, oh, what if, you know, they want to set it on the shelf. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with this, these. And and I don't know what I'm going to do. I might make me another one for the tree. Anyway, and I put one of them white or clear plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree up in it. Up, up in its bottom. And put a lot of hot glue on it, but you should put some rocks in it. I guess you could drop some down through the hole on the top. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so then the other piece of the poster board that I set aside when I cut my first cone, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to make... Apparently, it looks like I'm drawing a lung, but I'm really, really not. It's a wing. A wing. I'm drawing two wings. I'm just going to draw um, one and fold it in half. And then I'm going to cut each side out because that way I know they will be even. They'll be the same size. Now look, I'm not an artist and I did that. And I mean, I know it looks like butterflies, but well, the one looks like lungs. The other one looks like butterfly. I don't know, but... <laughs> I liked it. So I got that um flower sack cloth from the Dollar Tree and um I'm going to take and put a ton of Mod Podge down. Now look, I doubled this up. So I laid it on there and folded it over so it's too thick. It's too Y'all know what I mean? It's folded and I wanted to make sure it was heavier than just the one ply i i don't know is it even considered a ply if it's material i don't think so but whatever so i put a ton of mod podge on it y'all a ton uh, uh, of mod podge um covered the sides real good okay y'all i got this um burlap look two dollars and 79 cents for a yard it was on sale at the hobby lobby so i got it and um cut me a big square out to put on because it's the top um burlap I, I didn't want the loose one that you know is going to pull and twist and turn and all that jazz but anyway um i didn't put mod podge on the wings first because there was no need for it i did it on the first one because i was afraid that i want to make sure the material stuck both ways okay so i got me some wire here and I'm going to take that cotton twine, the little tiny cotton twine from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to wrap it 
when you first start it off, it's going to look rough, but that's okay. You can cut that off later. But I'm going to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. I'm going to wrap that cotton twine around that wire. Just woohoo. Yeah. Just having a wee old time. You know what? That was a pain in the hind end. Um, if you do do this and you use the wire, keep folding it down because your twine keeps getting stuck on it if you don't. And anyway, when I got done, I wrapped it around my Mod Podge bottle to get it to be a loop. And then I just wrapped it around itself, twisted it up, going to clip it off right there and glue where I clipped it off because I don't want it to unwind. And that is my halo. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. These are so cute. I love them. Anyway, I saw one at Hobby Lobby. I saw a, um, the burlap, the brown jute one. I was like, I gotta make that. Now, mine isn't exact, obviously. And not as good, obviously, probably. But I don't know. I like mine better. Anyway, so I'm gonna glue the head on. Yeah. And I'm going to glue my little halo on. <laughs> Don't look at that mess behind me, y'all. That is terrible. <coughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Mm. Jennifer DeFino <coughs> sent me that burlap. Look, y'all. I love her. I haven't been using it because I was afraid I'd run out of it. And I'm like, that's silly because it's just going to lay around a waste. Well, then I used it on my little angel, and I ran out of it. But I just hot glued the back of it. Just ran out of that one design. Look at the faces I'm making, y'all. It's terrible. But I wrapped it around twice. Because I didn't want you to be able to see through it. Um, Yeah, and then I go about three inches down. And I wrap it around her her waist, maybe? Is that, I don't know. That's the way the one at the Hobby Lobby was. <laughs> So, just doing the same thing here with the brown, except I'm going to take that wire jute and make my halo. Didn't have that option with my white one. Excuse me. Oh, goodness, y'all. How y'all been? So, I need to update y'all on some stuff. Y'all going to be like, you're kidding me. But my surgery's gotten postponed again. I found out this morning. I'm not lying. I seriously have to have surgery. <laughs> Anyway, I took that lace um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree, uh, courtesy of Miss Jennifer again, and wrapped it around the little brown one's body. And I'm going to take four Jingle Bells and paint them. Okay, I mixed truffle chalk paint and Mod Podge together, y'all, to make them brown. Don't do that. That was, I was like, well, it works with beads. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, that was a disaster. I would suggest painting them with Mod Podge, then painting them brown, but don't try to do that. That was horrible. It bubbled up and had big balls on it. Anyway, so I'm just going to take my angel wings and cut them out. Anyway, y'all, there's an issue with my insurance, which they accept my insurance, and they had the wrong insurance, and, um, and I have infection in my body still. But anyway, just uh, mold your wings up. Just bend them up towards you know, the sky, and then hot glue them on. Oh my gosh, y'all, look there. Oh my goodness. And then glue two little uh, jingle bells to um, underneath her head on her neck. <gasps> look at those, y'all. How cute. I just love them. I do. I do. I really do. I think those are absolutely adorable. I just, I don't know. I just... Oh no, y'all. Oh, I ran Baker's twine for the hood. What is that? That's psychedelic. Look at her. Y'all, y'all don't have to love her, but I'm telling you what, I love her. I wish I'd done this on a big scale. I'm telling you what, get a piece of foam board, cut me out a tag, and make me a giant quilt tree. Okay, y'all. Well, I got one of these little signs here from the Dollar Tree. You know, the little triangle box ones. I done poked the back, pushed the back, I love it. Stained my little outside with that walnut wood tent by folk I work. And just going to put hot glue on the back of that there. And look at this paper I got from the Hobby Lobby. I love the one that was out at Thanksgiving with the little truck. Look at the Christmas one. Aw, isn't that pretty? Anyway, love it. So, just going to glue that down. 
take my craft knife or some utility knife, some kind of knife, and just going to cut my paper off. Because, you know, I'm just full of knives and swords down here. Going to take my Aileen's Tacky Glue again and a little bit of hot glue. And just going to glue my back down. Because the same thing happens to me here. I go to put my back down and it's the wrong place if I just use hot glue. So, I'm like, I ain't doing that anymore. But, I probably will do it because I'll forget. And, yeah, I'll mess it up again. So, I'm going to take three different sides. A lot of y'all saw me make my snowman Christmas garland. was so cute. I'm going to take three different sizes of beads here. Uh, I think it's 18, a 20, and a 22 millimeters. Got them all from Amazon. And I put them on that um, little dowel rod and put hot glue in them. So I can shove that dowel rod away up top of his head. Plus, he'll stay together better. And I can paint them and you can't see the hole in his head. And I got that little red palm, palm garland from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to glue it all the way around the outside of my sign on the edge of it, because I didn't like the way that um, tent looked on that um, particle board, you know, it just um, looked like it was drying and splitting open, and it just looked funny, so yeah, so I glued that all the way around it, because I was only going to glue it on the bottom, but yeah, I just like, well, let's keep going with it, y'all, so anyway, um, oh, I'm going to take my little snowman, and I'm going to take my Sharpie and give him eyes and mouth and two little buttons, and last year I did a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Yeah, that's what I did last year, but I'm giving him orange noses this year, and that's the first time I've done it. Anyway, so I'm just going to sand off my skewer or my dial rod there and make him flat so he'll stand up there, put two little Christmas trees in there from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to put a butt ton, a butt a ton of hot glue and some faux snow. It's that glittery snow and them little stupid styrofoam balls. I'm using them because I want to get rid of them. I don't want them in my house anymore, but I'm afraid they're going to be around for the next 20 Christmases because mm -mm -mm, I got a bunch of it and that stuff spreads. Okay, it's like the clap. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> I should have said that. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, I cut off two little... My daddy's going to kill me. Um, Two little pieces of jute made his arms. That's why I was burning that jute. And that scarf, uh, Baker's Twine, I made him a little scarf around his neck. Two of them little stumps, you know, you get from Dollar Tree. You know what everybody does. Everybody does this. And I'm going to glue my tree to the top of it. And, um... Oh... I take my little Scrabble words that Miss Shelley got me, and um, I'm going to glue them to a craft stick so they'll stay together. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. Anyway, I just glue them on there. Cut that off, and I'm going to glue it in my sign. And there it is, and I think that's adorable. Isn't that cute? Aw, oh, ain't that pretty. <laughs> Y'all, I can't get right. Anyway, woo-wee. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got two of those tag signs from the Dollar Tree. And there's a SKU number. I'm just going to take the little tags it came with off of it and give them both two coats of rust oil and linen white chalk paint. And I'm going to take that 2023 calendar, the farmer's market one, and take that beautiful picture. I know some of y'all may be tired of seeing it, but I can't help it. I had to use it because I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to take a very, very light layer of Mod Podge. Y'all don't realize how thin a layer of Mod Podge I give this. Um, and I get no wrinkles. Now, when I laid it down, I picked it up right there. That caused a little teeny tiny wrinkle on the upper left-hand side. But if you just use a, a very, very light layer, um, you won't get any wrinkles in it. And it'll stay, no problem. And... Once you get it on there real good, just rub it down real good with your hands. I have one of those brayers. I don't even use it. I just use my hands and just rub it out really good, guys. And if you don't want wrinkles, which with that, I didn't really care. But then I didn't get any wrinkles. So I'm like, oh, well, what do you do? So I take that book there I got from the Hobby Lobby, <clears throat> scrapbooking book. You can use any paper you want that kind of matches, has the colors of your little truck there. I like that rustic. 
um, old timey plaid look, so that's what I'm going with. And with that one, I put a little bit a thicker coat of Mod Podge because that that's cardstock, so it's really thick. And of course, it was too short, so I cut it off there. So I'm going to take that lacquer, and I'm going to paint me some red beads, and I'm going to take that I think it's vintage green by Home Decor Folk Art, and paint some green beads, be green beans. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> anyway, and anyway, I put it on some masking tape or painter's tape, and I paint one side, and I flip them, and I paint the other side. I'm sorry. I totally lost track of everything, but I'm just going to cut the excess paper off with my knife. It's already started, y'all. I just got started, and it's already started. Goodness gravy. Whew. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my little square there, and it had like two lines running up, but can you see it, that are gray, so I thought my pencil would look good right there, and if it was like doing ship like, ship like, I can't talk, ship lap or anything else, I would cut it with my knife to make it look more realistic, but this isn't really going to show that much anyway, because, but I still go through all this, and I take some elephant chalk paint, and I dry brush it all over the entire picture, not just where... You know, it's separate there. The entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> With my green beans. Good gravy. I don't know why I showed y'all this, but I thought you'd want to see it. You know, if you wanted to, you could draw a line like right between the trees and top of the truck. Then right underneath the truck to make it look like you got lines going all the way down the side there. But I take that phone chalk paint by um, Waverly. And, because it kind of matched that brown that's on that paper. I don't know if y'all can see it around the edges, but that's kind of what it looks. So, I went ahead and went all the way around the edge of my sign um, to try to make it match up with that brown that was already on there. And then I did it around that extra sign there, too. Yeah. So, anyway. Goodness gracious. And I take my glue stick. Man, I covered it, didn't I? And, um, uh... I'm going to cover both that backs, both those bags, and y'all, yeah, I'm going to take that crafting paper from the Dollar Tree, and and I want to show you, when I do this with that glue stick, and I rub that down, I mean, it looks like the that's just the back, it, that it, the sign came that way, you can't even tell, and then cut that out, and I'm going to cover them both with Mod Podge again, you know, but let those dry completely, because you will get wrinkles if you don't let it dry completely. Patience is a virtue, y'all. I know I don't have much of it, but I'm telling you, that's what I do. Oh, then I'm going to take that little pick from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to poke um, the rest of the way through my hole. I'm going to poke my hole out. Anyway, whatever. And I'm going to take a white bead, a red bead, and a green bead, and I'm going to make a little hanger with some jute, and I'm going to hot glue them together. And then, oh, I'm going to take a bunch of ribbon from Dollar Tree, y'all. And I'm going to make a, with the, a skinny, big fluffy bow. And then I'm going to take that. I got that ribbon, y'all, from Dollar General two years ago. That little red truck ribbon. It's almost all gone now. But anyway, um, I'm just going to fluff it up. And I'm going to take the pipe cleaner that I used to put the one together. I'm going to dovetail my ends. And I'm going to attach my little fluffy bow to my big non-fluffy bow and then I'm going to use the pipe cleaner also and attach it around my hanger and there it is y'all and I think that is beautiful it is gorgeous look at that oh I did put some mistletoe on it too mm-hmm y'all like that oh my gosh I love that picture y'all I'm telling you Okay, this is one my, I don't know, I like this one too. I got two of those, um, I want oblong, that's what they are. They're, um, rectangle signs from the Dollar Tree. And look, I took my heat tool and got the tags off. And then I take some goo gone and wipe the sticky off where the tags were. And then I take some rubbing alcohol and I wipe off the goo gone. So that way when I paint it, that goo gone don't seep through because it can sometimes. And, of course, you know, I'm going to sand down around the edges to get that excess paper that's hanging over the edge off because that's just what I always do. You guys know the routine now. And I'm going to put my signs together. <coughs> I'm going to take some of those lower giant, they're called giant, um, 
uh, craft sticks from the Walmart and then the littler ones from the Lowe's and I put them all over my sign so my sign don't wobble on the wall. Yeah, I don't want that wobble. It's a wobble, 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 wobble. Anyway, I take, um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. I take a lightweight spackle and I put it in my crack too much. <laughs> Filled up my crack too much. And I accidentally put two holes. Look at that. I got that for 50 cents last year after Christmas. Had never, at the Walmart, had never opened it. Um, I just looked at the size and I, and I made these two, and it fit perfect, y'all perfectly on there can you believe that isn't that beautiful and that's a wall decal so anyway i know i was very impressed so i'm just gonna start peeling it off a little bit at a time it's sticky so of course it's sticky if it's a wall decal and you buy it. i mean they don't expect you to put mod podge on your wall now i try to use uh masking tape to get that pulled up and didn't work i had to use that pick from the uh Cricket crap, you know, you get at the uh, Dollar Tree too, because you, I couldn't get them up all fair. The paper was coming with them, probably because it's been sitting here for two year a year. Anyway, whatever. So, anyway, it was wrinkly, but just try to and yeah, I mean, you can pull it up, and put it back down, but it will lose its stick just like the wall decals at the Dollar Tree. But yeah, try to get it straight as I could, but you know, sometimes. My vision ain't the good. And my sign, one was a smidge bigger than the other one. And you can barely see it. But I was like, seriously? And it was the last two I had of that shape. So, yeah. Anyway, and it's got the little trees and the and the little snowflakes. So, I put my first word down and put masking tape across it to make sure I got them even all the way across through there. And then I just laid out that paper and kind of dropped them down evenly where they were. And instead of putting all three... Um, trees on each side. I only put two on there. Because I didn't want to be too crowded. Mmm. And then I put those black things on there that, that was in there too. And I cover it with a coat of Mod Podge. And then I cover the back. Make me a hanger. See? Staple that on there. And there we go, y'all. I love that. I think that just is so pretty it turned out so good so you don't need a cricket you know what i mean look at that oh my gosh i'm just in love yes i am oh i did wrap jute around the end of each sign look at this one y'all i don't know i love this one too i got those nesting boxes from the dollar tree i actually got them last year at halloween time and uh <laughs> i'm gonna cut all the little hangers off of it and i'm gonna give each of them two coats of rust oil and linen white chalk paint now, right here, I'm taking some tumbling tire blocks, and I'm just going to stick them in, um, just like that. Mm -hmm. And right at the edge, because I'm sure i sure y'all know what I'm making. And I want to have something substantial to glue to each, you know what I mean, each piece. Now, I put four blocks in that one, I think six in the biggest one, I think six in the middle one, too. But anyway, look, there it is. Y'all have been telling me you haven't seen her lately and you've missed her. So I figured this time when she popped up, I wouldn't cut it out. I don't cut it out on purpose. She just usually pops up there when I'm like I was using the heat tool this time when she popped up. And I don't show y'all when I'm doing that. And yeah, she thought it was funny. She kept knocking down my glue gun. Watch her. There she goes again trying to get it. I don't know why. She just like that. I don't know what she's doing. I love her so much. I just love her so much. I put a little clip of them at the end of the video because y'all ain't seen them playing for a while. So, to the ones y'all like it. If not, you can fast forward. So, I'm going to draw my eyeballs on my little snowman. Now, I, I'm i no artist, but um, you can... I don't know. I just think about something cute or, you know, look at pictures of other things. You can do that. Um, and, uh draw you some eyeballs and then i'm gonna i don't know i don't know how to help and then i'm gonna trace it out with um a sharpie and then th now here I, I go over it with the pencil then i go over it with a sharpie i know right and there i'm making eyelashes yeah 
and I think I, oh, and here I'm just painting in his eyeballs. I'm sorry, y'all. Jessie, I don't know what she's doing. I'm trying to deal with her. I should, shouldn't have done that, but I did. And I'm going to take my blue paint pen here, and I'm going right underneath that black. Oh, I'm lying. I already did that. I'm taking my white paint pen there, and I'm going to put uh, two little dots like, in his eyes. And here I got some orange burlap. I'm just cutting out a shape of a carrot nose, which I would rather do frosty. Corn cob pop and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. And I didn't do that because I couldn't figure out how to get a corn cob pop in, in, a, in a cardboard box's mouth. You know what I mean? Y'all, I made the cutest little stacking presents, but I just... This, oh, this video had so much in it already. Anyway, and there I'm just drawing out the mouth. Yeah. Look at his blue eyes. Ain't it cute? I've already glued those two together, and I painted those three buttons black. They were pink. I don't even know if y'all saw that, but... Oh, there's that pink, that salmon coral it is, and I mix it with some white, and that's what I'm going to do to give him some little pink rosy cheeks, and I'm going to paint inside of his mouth part of it to make it look like his little tongue, but I didn't finish it. I forgot to, to like, draw the little around the tongue, but it, so it just looks like a pink blob in his mouth, but, ah, you know, anyway, I told y'all what it's supposed to be, so, <clears throat> My sinus is now just y'all killing me. I'll probably lose my voice soon. I do every year. So, I'm just going to hot glue on them tumbling tower blocks and stick it down to my box there. Now, you could probably do this and not like, um, not like glue it together and then just nest it back together and put it away for the winter. So, I got one of them scarves there from Dollar Tree, y'all. I've had that a couple years, too. And I'm just going to wrap it around see how much you know i need and then i'm gonna just gonna tie it in one little loop there jesse jane you've got to stop shoo wee and i take what's left over and i cut the tassels off of it and i glue it together because i'm gonna make even a little hat mm. so the tassels there i wrap up the end because i left a little bit of piece you see what i'm saying and then i'm gonna hot glue it together and tack it down because we're gonna put the tassels on his hat did i already say that I may have. So you put it in upside down in the center of it and put it upside down. And then I just bunched it all up together there the best I could. Now you don't want to roll it because then it, it it won't. Well, it might might open right at the bottom. I just don't know. I didn't know. So I just took a rubber band. Y'all, I'm guessing half this stuff as I go along. And then when it works out, I'm like, hey, I'm going to show, show my friends. Look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness anyway so i put a rubber band on it turn it inside out but bam there's my little um we call it toboggan um but i know a lot of people call them beanie i don't know what everybody we i know everybody else toboggan is a sled well we call them toboggans and i don't know why but okay i'm gonna tack huh, look at this <laughs> ignore that mess in the background y'all ignore it now you're really going to look at it that I said ignore it. But anyway, I'm going to give it another row up because it was still too big. And in the back, I wanted it to be tighter. So I folded that piece up and I'm going to tack it down there to, you know, make it to where it ain't going to fall off his little head. And it still looks cute. I think I'm going to set him by my Christmas tree this year. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> And I'm going to tack my... My scarf down there. Y'all, this was too easy, and it turned out just too cute. And it's something you could even do with your children or your grandchildren or for yourself like I did. Yeah. And I'm going to tack it down to the side of his head, and look. <laughs> look at it. How cute. I love him. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, goodness.